Hey there guys, how are you doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another episode of Until Raw Secrets. We've got some explosive news that's going to shake the very ground we've all been waiting for. So you know how I've been telling you for years that this fairy tale is more like a horror story. Well folks, this curtain is finally falling and boy is it crazy. Let's dive into what's going on. First off, Let's talk about Harry's solo appearance in Vancouver. Did you see him there looking actually happy for once without someone whispering in his ear about what to do? The man is practically glowing. And where was Meghan during this? Oh, just partying it up in LA with billionaires. I mean, could it be any more obvious? Well, Harry's out there doing meaningful work. You know, the good one thing he's managed to create before he got trapped in the California circus, she's out there networking with potential targets. Really? Now, let me tell you something, guys. My friends, I've been covering these since day one, and it's obvious signs that the marriage is, of course, in complete meltdown. We can see it all day long. It's crystal clear. Well, it's not just smoke and mirrors anymore. Remember how I told you years ago that this would end in tears? Remember when everyone called me negative for pointing out the red flags? Well, who's negative now? This is exactly what happens when you marry someone who sees you as a meal ticket. Now, let's break down the evidence, shall we? First off, we've got them completely separate appearances. I know what you're thinking. Lots of couples do separate things, but this is different. This is calculated, my friends. The sports, the military connections, the things that actually mean something to him before... It was love bombed into submission. Let's talk about that house hunting in London. Why would someone who's happily married in California be looking for property thousands of miles away? I'll tell you why, because he is certainly planning an escape route. Yes, these are the revelations that are now coming to light, guys, trying to monetize every aspect of their existence. You know what gets me? The source, we're talking about their lucrative team. Of course, this is why they're worried about it. It's been about the money, hasn't it? From the moment Meg realized she couldn't handle actually working as a well. You know, the whole self-service thing. It's been one money-making scheme after another. Speaking of Catherine, let's take a moment to appreciate how she's handled everything. While Meghan's been out there partying with billionaires, Catherine's been equally graceful, raising their children properly and showing what real dignity looks like. And King Charles, my heart goes out to him after everything he's been through, watching his younger son being manipulated like this. But you know what? He's handled it with grace. Him and Queen Camilla have both carried on doing duty and service. Now, let's talk about the timing. Notice how Harry's been making more solo appearances. Notice how he's been looking more and more like his old self. The spark is coming back into his eyes and his bet is driving someone we know absolutely crazy. And here's something else to consider. Have you noticed how their PR machine has been working in overtime lately? Every time there's a new announcement, they are on top of it like crazy, guys. It's unbelievable. Remember when Meghan first came on the scene, all those promises about modernising the monarchy, about being a breath of fresh air. Well, look how that turned out. Instead of modernising anything, she tried to monetize everything. Instead of being fresh air, she brought chaos and division. But here's the really, really sad part, guys, and I mean genuinely sad, because despite everything, Harry is still Diana's boy. He's thousands of miles from the people he wants to. No wonder He's house hunting in London. The man wants to come home. And let's talk about these children for a moment. My heart breaks for them. It does. While their cousins, George, Charlotte and Louis, are growing up with stability and a clear sense of who they are. What are Archie and Lilibet doing? Parents who can't stand each other. According to Levin, a mother who's interested in parting with billionaires is not a stable home, my friends. Not one bit. It is unbelievable. Now, of course, they haven't needed to tell all the interviews about this, they just don't work that way day in, day out. And speaking of William, remember how close he and Harry used to be? Remember those two brothers who supported each other for everything? Well, I bet William saw this coming. Remember when he allegedly warned Harry to take things slow, but no one listened? They were all kind of too caught up, really, in doing other things. So, and it's not as if it's going crazy at this point. So, a normal The Voice would talk about someone who's made their entire brand about being a duchess, about being married to a prince. You think she's going to let that go easily? Not a chance. And the financial implications, oh boy, guys, don't even get me started. Of course not, of course not. But the bottom line, because that's what it's always been about, you know what's really interesting? The timing. How his recent appearances, he's been looking more relaxed. More like his old self. It's like watching someone slowly wake up from a very long nightmare, guys. Yes, indeed, a very long nightmare. My friends, we're watching the end of what I've always called the greatest con in royal history. The woman who came in promising modernization of the monarchy instead trying to monetize it. It is really 
unbelievable. And she couldn't handle the basic concept of service before self. And Harry, well, I actually have hope for Harry. Yes, he's made massive mistakes. Yes, he's burnt some bridges that might never be rebuilt. But these Diana son and somehow under the California madness, there's the real Harry. So, and of course, I'm going to say this. My friends, the signs are there. Separate appearances, house hunting in London, the parting with billionaires. This is the beginning of the end. And we're watching it happen. Remember, you heard it here first. And when it comes to crashing down, remember who's been telling you the truth from day one. This is your friendly neighborhood royal critic. And so make sure to hit that subscribe button because trust me, guys, you won't want to miss what happens next. Until next time, my amazing truth warriors, keep supporting, keep your eyes open. Because the truth always does come out in the end, guys. You know it as well as I do. So, yeah, in the meantime, I hope you guys have a fantastic night. And you never know what's around the corner with a hapless, harebrained husband and the Duchess of Deception from Montecito. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And, of course, we'll see you again very, very soon. Goodbye for now.